Wingman, request to engage my target. Wingman? Good morning, Elite Gamers. Thank you for joining me earlier this week while I beat meat in virtual reality. That being said, the ground is for plowing, and I forgot to buy Farming Simulator back while it was on sale. So we're back in the air, and Command has been missing us. Spicy return to base and turn in your wings immediately, it's a crime we- First objective on the docket for Command's legally questionable tasking is an all-out assault on a naval testing site confusingly placed in the middle of a desert. Escort a stripe group sent to destroy ships at the enemy's naval testing area. We've been transferred to the airbase near Gloom Lake. As has become standard for Command's dumpster fire intelligence briefings, we don't know where we are, who we're shooting at, or what the rules of engagement are. So I did a little independent research. Oh shit. Looks like Kilo Wing is the payback for that Area 51 raid that went south. This is the highest priority mission we've been given thus far, so it's time we take this seriously. Somebody in one of the comments told me that it's possible that two fighters will stray into your path and you've got to fight them. Is it cheating to know the, uh, the mission ahead of time? No, I think that's just a good intel brief. I carefully selected my loadout for this mission based on a simple principle. The enemy missiles can't hit me if they're busy hitting my teammates. So I packed every anti-radiation missile, GPS guided bomb, and pilot piddle pack that I could find and gave the loadout a tactical name so it could be quickly identified. Radar PP smack. All right, fellas. Once I'd been given chat's final advice on loadout selection, 126 are easy to use, 65 is a better range, and promptly forgot all of it, we go with ease here. This is the Walmart of flying strike aircraft. The mission commenced. Make sure my canopy's down, and I'll give you guys a big spectator cam. Oh, too big of an FOV. Yikes. Whiskey one's command, commencing flyby. Two bandits on my tail. God! Spartan, we haven't even left the... There's... There's a... Ah, uh, yikes. This is gonna be catastrophic. Chat gets what chat wants. Ooh. Ah. Oh man. Oh no! Oh, I'm stuck up here. <laughs> I can't. And my plane exploded too. I don't think that's a standard feature of ejection seats. Restart mission. With the significant delay presented by acquiring a new aircraft and realigning my jaw and cranium, we had no time to be slow in getting into the air. So I gave the tower a run for their money. There. God, that's so many six nines in your name, Bob. Tower Kilo 11 one, request takeoff present position. Copy. Taxi to runway zero seven. Now nah, we're doing it present position. Check this out. This is how real pilots fly. Take flaps to. I just need like 20 feet of a straight surface and we can take off in this baddie. Taxiway is wide enough, I believe. Don't know the rotation speed, but I can tell you we're going to clear those buildings. Oh yeah. I'm not even going to attempt to do a bit about this part of the mission. After you form up on Kilo Wing, the game gives you a 9 minute formation flight through the desert. There's no challenge presented here, just don't hit the homies and don't get too bored. So we're just going to fast forward this a bit. X-Ray is beginning their anti-ship attack now. Pop up and begin taking out all radar targets at heading 020. We're relying on you to make sure the cruise missiles meet their targets uninterrupted. Bummer that Command gave the suppression of enemy air defenses job to someone who didn't even understand the symbology on his anti-radiation attack display. Yes, I had to Google that acronym. Okay, we got our ARAD up, and we're going to use that to ding these baddies. What is the what is the MB? Okay, what is the A? What does the A mean? And what does the DC mean? Chat was quick to inform me that the A on the ARAD screen is a shortening of attack here, and we didn't actually have to worry about the DC marker because that was actually just a brand placement ad because we were sponsored by Diet Coke. With the utmost confidence in our newly understood weapon systems, it was time we engaged the enemy. And by we, I mean my wingman. Wingman attack my target. Okay, that's for sure. Wingman attack my target. Confirmed, attacking your target. Wingman attack my target. Having successfully shown leadership in the air and delegated my entire workload, I decided the next step was to drop GPS guided bombs on targets that couldn't fire back at me. But more importantly, I was going to do it without a proper understanding of the mapping system. Okay. And GPS send. Cool. 
Now we'll pop into our GPS screen. Oh, what is all this shit? Okay, there we go. Well, we got the map objective now. We'll mark that waypoint. I think you have to do that, but I, I really couldn't be more clueless, frankly. Okay, let's delete that group. You switched off your targeting computer. What's wrong? Cool. <laughs> Yikes. I should not have deleted the group. Those were the mission objectives. Okay, put the diamond in the circle and release. Yikes. Pretty sure that was a man pad. Oh, and I'm pretty sure that man pad either hit us or busted near us. You know what, let's GPS, GPS send this guy, because I'm pretty sure that was like a man pad. It fired something at us. So we're going to pickle and then just break away hard. All right, put the diamond in the target. Cool, there we go. Pop chaff. And now we just watch. Oh, you can see the bomb. That's neat. Man, it just, it really turns dropping explosive ordnance into a game of Tetris, doesn't it? I know that I've spent my entire mission using my teammates instead of my weapons. But it's jungle rules in Kilo Squadron. What the hell was that? Wingmen won't engage your targets for you if they don't recognize you as the Apex Silverback. So you've always got to fight back when someone wastes time on the radio. <laughs> Couldn't even tell you where my wingman is right now, by the way. He's, he's off to the races. All right, all we've got left here are those two drone ships and then the supply depots. So we're just gonna go guns on them. Guns, guns, guns. Ooh, a little bit of wobble there. That's one. That's two. And I'm pretty sure the uh, flak is on the front of these. Easy day. After our initial bombing runs and a little bit of celebration, I think we're really starting to uh, figure this out. We received a surprise booty call from command. He's really climbing his way to the top. That's it? That was the easiest mission. We didn't even do anything. Well, except for blowing up that whole port. But like outside of that. 77 nautical miles lay between me and a fresh Panda Express drive through slop bucket back at base. So I sat back with chat and tried to figure out how to make my autopilot cruise me home at 20 feet off of the water. Does anybody know what the tolerance is for the autopilot? Like what altitude will it keep me within? Specifically if I put it into radar mode. I knew there was a way to change whether it's in uh, like a rad out or uh, a barrow altimeter, but uh, I guess not. Oh, it's on the front panel? Yep. Upon caution by chat, we engage the space shuttle thrusters on the FA-26 Bravo. You know, we're going NASA mode. Sure is beautiful, ain't it? 22,000 feet in the air. 77 nautical miles later, I enabled my GoPro, went live on Facebook Live, and got a little feisty with Tower to establish the tone for my viewers. This way, they knew it was going to be a sick landing. Tower Kilo 1-1, one, one, you can clear these nuts. We're gonna have to burn it in, baby. Speed's good, gear down. Let's take flaps one for this one. Kilo 1-1 one, one is declaring an emergency. We're too good at landing. As long as we don't overrun this guy, that's why we got the speed breakout. Oh, we're gonna overrun the hell out of him. Can I, can I get beneath him? That's probably a bad idea if he's landing. We'll just fly over him. This is now a section. Real good thing we got the quick save <laughs> Facebook was quick to ban and delete this content because apparently a class alpha aircraft mishap violates their terms of service. So we went back for another landing just to have the final word. Did he say whether I was clear or not? I don't care, you're down. Little did we know, one of our wingmen had passed bingo fuel 50 minutes ago, and to his chagrin, had a complete electrical failure 49 minutes ago. So nobody was aware that he was in peril. Seems to know what he's talking about. What what is the What the hell? <laughs> what just happened over there? Kilo one one tower. You are not authorized to land. Welcome back. Follow the taxi path to your parking area. What <laughs> what were those two voice lines? You can't get really mad about me not being authorized to land and then just be like, hey, good to have you back, man. Now that we were back on deck, chat had one more surprise for me before engine shut down. We don't even need taxi lines. We're gonna take this one through the desert. Kilo one, one, tower unable. Ooh. 
We have gotten 24 subscribers. If you like gaming in general, and VR content in particular, there's a whole lot more where that came from on my channel. Thanks for flying with me today, and I hope you have an outstanding weekend. I'll see you all next week.